How are you? And welcome to another video from The Open Author. My name is David B. Lyons and today we're going to be discussing the eight reasons why a literary agent would turn down your manuscript. Why don't we get straight down to it? Okay, so perhaps you're at that stage where you have a novel finished and you are now seeking representation or a publishing deal. So if you are, congratulations on finishing that manuscript. But what you may learn as you're going through the process, or perhaps it's something you already know, hence you clicking on this uh, particular video, is that it's very, very difficult to land an agent and very, very difficult to land a publishing deal. But there are specific reasons why people fail in that process, and I'm gonna talk you through them right now. So hopefully you can make sure these errors aren't part of your submission package. So very quickly, we'll just talk about what a submission package is. So if you are submitting to an agent or a publisher, in order to land a publishing deal, you are most likely gonna be asked to submit the following. A cover letter, a synopsis of your story, and the first 10,000 words or three chapters of your story. So that's three separate elements that you're gonna to have to submit in order to appease or please an agent. But a lot of people get different elements of those three documents wrong and I'm gonna talk you through now on how you can get that submission package bang on the money. So the number one reason that people fail in their submissions to agents is they just do a blanket shout out. So, I mean, hands up, this is something I did when I finished my first novel and I thought, you know, I need to get an agent. So I wrote up this lovely cover letter, attached the sub synopsis, attached the 10,000 words, and then sent that off to about 40 different agents and of course I didn't really get much traction and that was because my cover letter wasn't specific enough for the agents themselves so what I mean by that is if you're just writing up a blanket email address and sending it out to all agents well then you're not really being clever enough because what an agent wants is for you to understand what it is they're all about. So if you're sending out an email, dear madam or dear sir, and you're sending it out to 40 agents, you're probably not even likely to get a response, let alone a publishing deal. So you have to be very specific. You have to research each individual agent and send them a specific individual letter. But the number one reason why people don't hear back from agents is because they just send out a blanket email. It's not good enough. The number two reason why authors fail with agent submissions is you didn't submit correctly. So what I mean by this is each agent or each publisher will have their own submission guidelines. So as I said to you at the start of the video, it's most likely a cover letter and a synopsis and the first 10,000 words, but they may ask you for all of that to be embedded in your email. So not attachments, not Word document attachments, all within the email. Or perhaps they do ask for a Word document, but they might ask for them all in the same Word document as opposed to three different Word documents. Or perhaps they want the cover letter in the email and then two separate documents, one a synopsis and one the first 10,000 words. Whatever it is they are looking for specifically, you need to meet those requirements. Because I promise you, if an agent gets an email submission in from you and that they see that the submission is not conducted in the correct manner, it's unlikely to be even read. So make sure you are following the guidelines that each individual agent requires. The number three reason agents turn down manuscripts is there is a tipping point for all agents. Now, bear with me here. The first two reasons I gave you are probably self-explanatory. You may have heard them before if you've done any more research on why agents turn down particular manuscripts. But this is one I want everybody to bear in mind, okay? There is a tipping point for agents. An agent at any one time is looking for something specific. So say agent A is, has a full roster of crime thriller novelists and you know they may not be in the market for that because they feel their, their camp is quite full in that regard. So they're trying to think of, they're trying to look for something a bit more psychologically driven. So if that's exactly what that agent is looking for and you provide them with something else, 
well then they may turn it down but they will turn it down because it's not exactly what they're looking for at that point so that's what i mean by there's a tipping point you have to reach an agent with your manuscript at the same point that that's exactly what they are looking for so it may be that your manuscript is good enough it may be that your submission package is all perfect but if the agent is not looking for the type of tone and genre that you're delivering they're likely to turn it down it's nothing against you and your writing it just means that the agent isn't looking for exactly what you've submitted at that particular time so if you don't hit the tipping point of an agent and deliver exactly what they're looking for it's like you're going to be turned down and that unfortunately is the harsh reality of uh, the literature industry if you don't give an agent what they're looking for even if it's brilliant they're not going to offer you a contract so the number four reason that agents turn down manuscripts is you show little understanding of the market now as i mentioned earlier on about you know sending out blanket emails is, is not a good thing each email has to be addressed individually to to each agent within that cover letter email you need to prove that you understand the market so if you have written a romance novel for example if you've just written 40,000 words that's showing you really don't understand the industry because the romance novels should be almost double that in terms of word count so you have to prove that you fit in the right mold for a romance novelist and that your manuscript fills, fits in the right mold for a romance novel. It's also recommended that you liken yourself to other books that are hot at the moment. So in your cover letter you might mention that, you know, my book has similarities to Cecilia Ahern's P.S. I Love You or it has similarities to Liz Nugent's Unraveling Oliver. So the best thing to do there is to liken your book in tone and in genre to something that's really popular at the moment because that will get the agent interested in at least reading your manuscript and giving it its best shot. So prove in your cover letter that you know the market will be a huge benefit for you. But if you prove through your submission that you don't really know the market, an agent ain't gonna be happy and it's likely that you won't even bother reading your submission. Another reason agents will turn down your manuscript is your synopsis doesn't tell the whole story. Now, I was talking to a, a prominent agent not so long, well, it's probably long ago now, probably about four months ago, about this specifically. They are really annoyed agents when they get in a good cover letter and a, a, a decent first 10,000 words, but the synopsis is all wrong. Listen to me, a synopsis needs to give away all of your plot, okay? You need to try and fit it on one page, perhaps one and a half pages at most, but don't hold back here. Don't hold back that brilliant twist ending because you don't want to give it away to an agent or a publisher. You need to let the agent or publisher know what is unique about your book. So within your synopsis, include all of the great twists and turns that your manuscript takes. Include every story arc. Now I know you're only doing this within the space of a page or a page and a half so you won't be rambling on about it but make sure your synopsis gives the whole story and the whole uniqueness to your manuscript. So don't hold anything back. The agent needs to know exactly what's clever about your book. Now another reason that agents will turn down submissions is your opening is too boring. Now, you may have written this brilliant, unique story that sort of all culminates towards this genius conclusion. But the fact of the matter is, you're not gonna submit your conclusion to an agent. You're only gonna submit the first 10,000 words. So you have to make sure those first 10,000 words, which is about three chapters, that your first three chapters are as gripping as they can possibly be. Don't put all your emphasis on the conclusion of the story arc. Your opening needs to grab an agent by the lapel and drag them right into the book, okay? In fact, that needs to do that with all readers, not just agents. But if your first 10,000 words aren't brilliant enough, well then, you're gonna fail at that first hurdle of trying to find an agent. So make sure your opening is as strong as it can possibly be, and that will certainly prick up the ears of an agent. Another reason that they'll turn it down is your characters aren't relatable. 
Now this is a real sticking point with agents. They really want to see three-dimensional characters. And in fact, I've done another video on this about how you can make your characters three-dimensional. So if you feel as if that's something that might be letting you down, do check out that video. But um, it's, on my, it's on my YouTube library or on my website, theopenauthor.com. But it is something that agents talk about uh, quite frequently is that they can quite often get in a manuscript which has a great plot and a great story arc. But if the characters are not relatable, as in if the reader cannot sort of see themselves within the character or at least feel some sort of sympathy or empathy for the characters, well then no matter how good your story plot is, your manuscript is not going to pop and it's not going to relate to the reader. So it is a big frustration with agents that if your characters aren't fully drawn on and you haven't drawn them as three-dimensional, it's likely you're not going to get offered a deal. And then the final, the eighth and final reason that agents turn down manuscripts is your book simply isn't good enough. You might have written a great cover letter and you might have completed the synopsis perfectly but listen, if your manuscript is not good enough that's obviously why uh, an agent would turn down the offer to represent it. So reasons your story might be good enough is perhaps you haven't had it professionally edited. Listen to this, you need to edit your novel before it's sent off to an agent. There's no point in just you writing your first draft and then perhaps breezing over it on a second draft and then sending it out. Your story, your manuscript has to be the best it can possibly be before you send it to an agent. I often get asked questions in my Facebook group or in different Facebook groups or even emails. Should I have my book edited before it goes off to an agent? Yes is the answer to that. Your manuscript needs to be in the best possible shape it can be before you send it to an agent. There's no point in going to an agent and then thinking, oh, they look after the editing part for me. You need to make sure an agent falls in love with your novel if they are gonna take it on. So having it in its most pristine condition possible is something you need to do before you start off your submission process. So make sure a professional editor has taken a look at your manuscript and has worked on your manuscript and has cut out all technical errors such as spelling, punctuation and grammar of course but also that there's no plot holes and that your story is as tight as it can possibly be. So you need it professionally edited before you even begin this process. The unfortunate statistic is that less than 1% of manuscripts that are submitted to agents actually get picked up. I think it's at 0.04% or something like that. So some agents get up to 500 submissions every day and they may, 500 every day, and they may only take on somewhere between two and five clients a year. So your chances are very slim, but your chances enhance massively if you get the submission process right. So there's three elements to it, as I said. There's a cover letter, there's a synopsis that you have to write, and you have to submit, most likely to most agents, the first 10,000 words or three chapters. Now, if you feel as if you can't necessarily master all three of those elements, do contact me at theopenauthor.com because I do offer a service which will help you define and refine and perfect those three submission processes. So your cover letter, your first 10,000 words and your synopsis. So you can check that out at theopenauthor.com. In fact, what I'll do is in a link below, I'll put a, a link to that service that I provide. So hopefully that can help you out in some way, but feel free to pick my brains and contact me through my website should you need to. So that is eight reasons why agents turn down manuscripts. I hope you have taken something from this video. If one of the points that I explained here in over the last, what was it, 15 or 20 minutes, wasn't explained to your satisfaction, please do feel free to contact me. As I said, I get back to every email that's ever sent to me. So. Until then, unless I hear from you from email, I'll perhaps see you at the next video. Thanks very much.